Hey, what's up, guys? Foxy coming to you guys today with a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Foxy, and I do sound design, audio engineering content here on the channel. And today we are going to be reacting to Halo Infinite Explosions. Now, this video was made by Late Night Gaming, and apparently the explosions to Halo Infinite have changed in Season 2. This is not my initial reaction, but when I did watch this the other day, I was like, I need to make a video on this. Let me know down in the comments if you guys feel the same way I do about these explosions. So yeah, without further ado, let's go, bros. I'm gonna be honest, I actually haven't really played Halo Infinite in a couple weeks. Mainly because I am in this space at the moment, and once we get back downstairs to the basement, I'm going to have a brand new setup and everything, and everything's gonna look, look a lot better. So let's look at the ghost real quick. Right off the rip. You can tell that the debris, the bullets flying off of it, the ricochets and things like that, everything has such little detail. It makes everything sound a lot bigger and a lot more chaotic. Even seeing the bullets kind of tick and fly off of the uh, fly off of the ghost or the vehicle, you don't even see that in Halo Infinite, which is also weird, but this is not about the visual. This is about the sound. It's good. It, it's okay. Like, I don't mind the explosion, but there's no debris, you know? Like that, boom. Okay, we know that something's happening. The Wraith, I think, is the one of my favorite ones, though. Yeah, I'll say this about the Wraith. It's got a very loud, giant, exploding type of sound. It sounds like it came from a monstrous vehicle like the Wraith. However, my problem with the sound design, which is pretty good in Halo Infinite, is with vehicles and the destructive elements of the vehicles, it doesn't even sound like they're breaking down or they're falling apart, in my opinion. It just kind of has that visual of a little bit of fire coming out of the warthog or uh, the mongoose or something like that uh, but there's no real indication that it's falling apart until you hear the uh the yeah i can't remember what they call it it's the um i'm gonna look it up hold on one one quick sec eventually that's it it's called doomsday my attention span is so little and i forget things real easy i can't remember what i was just talking about and so uh that's my bad but i'm pretty sure i was talking about how they pretty much instead of having debris fly everywhere and hearing the debris fly everywhere hearing pieces of the the vehicle break off to let you know that the vehicle has taken damage it pretty much just gives you that charging noise or that doomsday noise to let you know that you need to get the fuck out of the vehicle pretty much that's cool and all but that doesn't mean that you should take away other things that immerse you into the game and i feel like the debris coming off and hearing that debris coming off gives you more immersion as a player and although these sounds are reused when it comes to the debris flying everywhere and you hearing the debris kind of come off like you see some of the debris fly off but you don't hear it break off and you don't see the bullets fly anywhere and you kind of hear like little sound effects of, of the battle rifle hitting it that sounds really cool but at the same time the animation's like eh if it flew everywhere and all that stuff that'd be that'd be pretty sweet i don't know just hearing those extra effects and those extra little things that sound like a machine or that sound just like something that would blow up or break off of a car or of a tank that's probably the best explosion, to be honest. At least as far as the look of the explosion goes, because everything flies everywhere. As I see the the tire coming off of the mongoose, or not the mongoose, the, uh, the warhog, I think that's a great touch, but you don't really hear it come off. I also feel like the explosion sounds are a little bit too quick. They're good, but they don't last a while. Kind of explodes and then that's it. And it's kind of weird. 
that too okay that right there the glass breaking dude that's a great touch and i just feel like halo infinite doesn't have that also it doesn't help that the flames and the fire sound effects for halo infinite they're not as loud they're turned down or something like that i don't know why I didn't hear the front part of the bumper fall off. I know it sounds like I'm nitpicking and it sounds like such little things, but that's what made games and in this case, Halo 3, I actually really like that tire animation. I just feel like the fire afterwards should be way louder. Like you can kind of hear some of the glass, but like the glass doesn't even break and you can hear little hints of it. But at the same time, it's kind of like, eh. and to be honest, when you hear certain like that, I know that sound is reused a lot in Halo 3, but it just sounds like things are breaking off. And when, when something goes up in the air and then crashes down, I expect it to make a sound. And I heard something in my left ear just then, and it was part of the tank, which is good sound design. But at the same time, some of it's not very loud. It's just not loud at all. And it's it's kind of weird. And it kind of takes away from that immersion. That type of immersion should happen in all video games, not just Halo. I mean, Halo sound design is iconic. The way that 343 has kind of, or used to, stray away from the sound design of the original games you know, it was, it was obviously a huge controversy, but at the same time, I also feel like they did a really good job for, with Halo Infinite, but at the same time, I feel like there's certain things that definitely need to be improved or added. And this is not me saying that the sound design was bad for Halo Infinite, because I think it's really good. It's something of a, it, it's, it's a mix of new and old classic style of a, a style of sound effects, which I really, really enjoy. Maybe it's my nostalgia, but at the same time, I feel like I'm making a valid point and I'm giving valid criticism. When I say, if I see something fly up in the air and come down and it doesn't make a sound, it's like, oh, well, why didn't that make a sound? Even if it's reused, I really don't care. As long as it fits, big shout out to Late Night for making this original video. And I'm pretty sure there's been a couple other videos that have talked about or shown the vehicle destruction in uh, Halo 3 compared to Halo Infinite. So shout out to them too. But I just wanted to kind of give my uh, my opinion on the sound design and how it could be improved. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications, drop a like or whatever. Go check out my Patreon or something like that. If you guys want to support the content even further, really, really appreciate all you guys stopping by and hanging out. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.